It's the day before the gathering. I'm out riding with these two chimps. Let's go have some fun. All right. Oh, shit. Hey, what did I tell you? Oh. I stalled it, my God, on the bridge. can be sketchy. It looks like he's got her though, eh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this can be a little intim intimidating at times. And if you don't get it just right, it sucks. Oh yeah, baby. Woohoo! I've been up that for a while on the Tenere. Yeah, baby! Oh yeah! That's a big crack. It wasn't sexy, but we got her done. <laughs> Here comes Polly Pissy Pants on the cheater bike. Yeah, he's riding the cheater. Ah. Yeah! Yeah! Here we go, into some guy. A little slick today, so this should be entertaining. And Captain Chaos up there isn't smash much tight single track on that 790 yet, so. Who knows, we might get some carnage on tape. Let's check it out. Conditions are awesome, guys. We've had lots of rain. No, no dust, no fires. Everybody's happy, it's cool. It really doesn't get much better than this. Bit, but it still sees us. 
too fast. Do a sit up. Some, some up. There you go. Low slung gas tank. I think that's a pretty bummer idea. 99% of the time. What we have here is the nursery for the dirtus chimpus. Welcome, welcome. Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're little chimps. We'll get in training. I wish I was in this group. 
it's awesome to get some refresher training every year because it gets sloppy. Oh, yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. All right, it's enough of that. Enough of school. Let's go and have recess instead. Okay, ladies, let's do this. Okay. All right, I'm out for a rip with the sisters, Scott and Andrew. Scotty's getting comfortable on the new 790 rally. Looking good. Traction's amazing. today she's paradise yeah been out for about two hours now on this new Mikasi 07 plus in the green real greasy muddy shit it's it's limitation for sure but in this stuff it's hooking up good enough so where we ride we don't get mud too often it's going to be a keeper. And even when the back end is squirting out, that's just increases the fun factor. Now you guys can take a look at Mikey on the tenor, eh? I like it when adventure bikers ride with their luggage. Maybe not their big. 40, 60, 80 liter ones, but you know, some of their stuff, you can go a year on a half day or a few hours in fashion. Why not do it with your rain gear, your extra parts, your tools? See how the bike performs, see how wide it is when you go between some weird hangers and stumps off the side. Yeah! Oh, my We're gonna get to do a fun hill climb right away. Five right in the middle. I don't know, it seems fine. But today, a little snippy, maybe helping out a little bit. It's gonna begin right now. Keep trimming first. A quick walk around while we're waiting for the guys got my moscow moto tank bag on all my super light stuff with the rain thing on top this big awesome bash guard way better than stock walking around the camel clutch thing steg pegs uh, my giant loop mojave bags with my heavier stuff tools and water this is all my really dry clothing because it's gonna pour <laughs> let's see down here steg pegs again this cover down here it's been geared down a bit i hear the guy's coming kind of coming let's go see <laughs> nice. here comes mike hall on a teneri the big t7 come on hit it mikey look ahead engage the core go run me over Whoa! <laughs> 
Mike's a pretty cool guy and he likes to do wheelies, but that did not look like an intentional wheelie. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, this stuff's kind of big. Apparently up here there's a bit of a fog by. And we've already decided that at least that bike we're gonna manhandle through it. Sorry in a minute how we're gonna do that. Got that it's some cool straps to the 790. big obstacle all right we're gonna get from here to about a 30 meters yeah got it 30 meters of fun okay what have you got going on here dr chisholm i wanted to show you how i i had to take off the handles because of the mojave bags and i really like having something to grab onto so i've got these sewn loops that we use so much for snow biking they're yeah. short and they're just around the, the post underneath the platform there but it'll give us something good to pull on yeah for sure one on each side. Now we have to remember to bu buckle them up again after because they're just looped through. All right. No fall off. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna pre-walk this thing and take a look. Nah. Okay. Let's get that camera down maybe a little bit more. Okay. See what happens. Uh, Bump. Then we have to lift it. Okay. So let's think about how we want to lift it. What we want to lift it from. Is that the tire, obviously. Mm -hmm. But if we're both up there lifting, there's nothing to stop us from falling over. Well, you hold the bike. You got it. Yeah, I'm holding it now. I'm gonna put a sling on the tire, and I'll just lift it. Maybe if you double it up, then it won't be as long. Yeah, we've got this little tiny you guy. Want you want to be on this side too. Hmm. Lift and pull. Yeah. This way. I can de weight it a bit. Start with that. Okay. That's right, all you. Hit the knees. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that again. One, two, three. Oh, nice. Yeah. One more. Um, do you want to be in here? Well, if we go in there, then we can just roll the logs out of the way. True. But you want to just try rolling the tire forward manually? Yep. Let's see if it's so I get the clutch in. You want it on the power, or you want to try just... I'm just going to do it by hand here first yeah. and see. Definitely more fun with two people. And if I'm gonna come out here by myself again, I should make sure I record it. And bring the 1090. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. 
ini What do you guys think? It's kind of spicy. Definitely smarter to have two people when you're doing this. Time for a little pull. Yeah. You just got a wet log. It's, okay. it's not them. So what do you have to grab onto? Um, nothing. Nada. Well, we can do the fork grab. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. Fork grab and tire, tire roll. Very controlled. I'm so gentle. It's hard to beat the Did it. versatility of a 500, but you got to get through stuff, hey? Yeah. <sighs> Can you just hold it for a sec? Yep. <laughs> Can you be there to hold the bum of my bike whenever I get off? That was quite pleasant. Brilliant. So let's do some more walking next to the bike. Yeah. Bummer. It's a failure. Uh oh, Andrew, what have we got ourselves into? Coming back a tiny bit and then, yeah. Oh. I might be tired tonight. Okay, I'm out of breath because I just did the 50 meter scrape the trail dog paddle. But now it looks really good. Check out this part. Super groomer. I have no excuses now. Let's see what happens. Do you grab my bum again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's the treatment. I don't know, but we're gonna try seven. First gear, look ahead, big smile. Here's the core. And we're rolling, look at her. Why did it stop there? Why is it stopping? Am I just spinning? Yeah. Really? Should we try it? Let's try this super duper traction control deal. Here's my cheat sheet. Nine is the most. Gotta get moving a bit. Okay, Sitting far back. As soon as I put my feet down, I take weight off the seat with the dumb. Feet are for stabilizing only. Wow. Okay, 
gets really twisty up here. I'm gonna get around this corner. Okay, that's the road right there, though, Stanley Creek. But it's very twisty between here and there. Shut up! Oh, you're a twisty! So I got a couple more maneuvers. These things are very really spiky. Wow! Oh, I dumped the rally. Poor bikey. You know, I'm not going to try to lift this. It's the day before the gathering. And to be along. <laughs> Look at how spiky these things are. <sighs> the worst place to crash. Yeah. Okay. Proper lifting technique, right? Yep. One, two, three. Yeah! Okay, I can I can stabilize it. Okay. You want to reset? Good. Okay. Yep. Ah. <sighs> My glasses are a little steamy. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to uh get straightened out first. Okay. One step at a time. Okay, that was fun. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> We've got three days of crazy riding ahead of us. That was just a warm up. And we'll get every bit as much exercise as that on every one of the upcoming rides. If it won't just be us manhandling our bikes and stuff, it'll be the other nine people in our group. Alright folks, that's it. I'm going home, I'm going to edit this, go to bed, wake up at five, and I'll see you all at the gathering. Gonna be a blast at the Raptor AM bus. Woo!